Hey guys, girls, fellow fishers, Chris here from Team Rotto, Giddy Up Fishing. Um, due to all the wet weather we've had down here on the coast lately, I thought I'd do a bit of an inside video, um, quick video on what works for me when it comes to uh, surface and, and whiting, top water lures. Um, a lot of our, at the moment, a lot of our waterways are flooded, um, debris all over the place, a lot of the ramps are flooded, uh, debris filling up the ramps, so I thought I'd um, get the GoPro out, do a little video, hopefully this time the GoPro will stay put and not fall off, or off the tripod that I'm using, or the blue tack. let's go, but anyway, we'll give it a burl and, and see what happens. Um, now, my first rod that I started targeting whiting on. Actually, not this one, you clown. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do it the other way. Bear with me. Okay. Oh, good one. Bang. The wife will be happy about that. Not going to painting. Uh, not painting, but a picture. Anyway. All right. Well, this is the first rod. I, I, I use Atomic Arrows rods, um, mainly because they're in my budget. And if uh, it allows me to save a few dollars and spend on another lure, then yes, I'm going to do it. Um, but this is the first rod, uh, uh, Atomic Arrows Estuary uh, 70L. I mainly bought this rod for targeting flathead. Um, as you can see at the moment, I've got rigged up for my live bait and yabbies. Um, if I'm not using the, the surface lures, then I like to get the pump out, get some fresh yabbies and throw on a yabby and uh, see what we can sort of bring up from the bottom in the way of usually the whiting, brim and flathead. Um, I'm using, on this one, I'm using the number four long shank hook uh, and just a little ball sinker running running along the line to the, to the head. Um, yeah, a good little rod. Uh, it's got a two and a half stratic on this. I run 12 pound mono and eight pound, I think this is eight pound braid. Um, I got the. I came across these reel covers on eBay, as we, as we all do. We surf eBay and look for stuff, buys and bargains. Um, I got one just to you know see how it goes, see how it covers up. Covers up really well, protects the the reel from dust and, and dirt in the garage, and from water and spray when it's out in the boat but not being used. Yeah, so good little rod. Uh, very happy with the way it goes. Um, but that's my, my sort of yabby setup, that one. And then my other one, which I use, is my Estuary 70 UL. Uh, this has also got a 2500 size reel, uh, running the same size line, the 12 pound, 8 pound, 12 pound mono, 8 pound, um, Leader, uh, sorry, get that right, you clown. 12 pound mono, 8 pound braid. So, actually, I can't remember now if it's if I run. Oh, well, I'm back again. At the uh, for the life of me, the mind went blank on what uh, what line and braid I'm running, but it's all right. Well, I've refreshed the, the memory. Um, 12 pound mono. On this one and the uh, the yabby setup that I use and eight pound braid. Um, I've just got this plastic on here at the moment, um, just so I can keep it in the hook keeper, uh, so the line's not flapping around. Um, but this is the, the one piece, seven foot one piece, seventy ul. I've got two of these rods, these U seventy ul rods in the uh, the estuary range, and I, I mainly use those for flatties. Um, but that's another story. Um, if I'm not using this one, then I started using, I also had one at home, as you do, in a rod collection, the brim surface, the, the light gear brim surface running a thousand size reel. Um, one piece, seven foot rod again, very light and great fun when actually the big, big elbow whiting, elbow slappers smash these, uh, these lures, yeah, it's it's great fun, a bit of an adrenaline rush, I have to say, um, but if you haven't had a, if you haven't had a go, then then get out there and give it a go.
All right, well, the first lure I've got here that I like to use is the Bass Day Backfire in the HF119 pattern. Um, I've changed down from the standard trebles, I think they're number six for memory, to the number 10 trebles. Um, work very well, it's the blooping style lure as most of you know. Um, I did have success on hookups with the, the standard trebles, but I thought I'll just change down to the, the smaller number 10 trebles to hopefully improve hookup rate. Um, admittedly, I've only had one session since changing the treble sizes on these and a couple of my um, Bass Day sugar pens, but yeah, very good on this one as um, you'll see in a couple of my other videos. I also, and I won't forget this time, I, I sort of keep forgetting about this little swivel, snap lock swivel. A lot of people like to use loop knots and that's great, what works for them, um, it's fantastic. But I, I'm at the moment been using, and you probably can't quite see, I'll put a picture at the end, um, but I use these, I can't remember the size, these small snap lock swivels, um, just so it's easy when wading the flats so I can quickly snap out one lure or change out the back Bass Day Backfire and swap to my sugar pens. I find it quick and easy. It doesn't restrict the action of the lure uh, and whatever retrieve style you like to use. Um, and so far I've had no complaints and it's not affecting hookup rates as well. So yeah, I like them um, and it's working for me. So if it ain't broke, they say, don't fix it. So. When I'm not, I'll put that back there without breaking anything this time. When I'm not using the backfire, and I've got my other two favourite lures, top water whiting lures, in the Bass Day Sugar Pen 95 in C66 and the Bass Day Sugar Pen 95 in HF119 pattern. The HF, as you can see, I've got the number 10 treble, number 10 assist hooks. On the C66, I've stayed with the two trebles. Um, I, I did have the, the standard trebles on both of these lures before changing to the number 10s, and I probably had a little bit more success with the double trebles as opposed to the treble and assist hooks. But as I did say earlier, I, since changing the lures, I've only had one... Um, one session, so I need a few more sessions under the belt to determine which is which is better, two trebles or a treble and assist hooks. But each to their own. Um, some will probably prefer trebles. Some will swear by the assist hooks, and that's great. I'm not a professional. I'm just an, uh, I still class myself as a newbie uh, in getting out there, having fun, enjoyment, and that's what it's all about. Um, my trebles are the owner trebles only because I had a, a brand new packet in the box already. Um, so why go and spend money if you've already got you know, the gear you need? Um, the, uh, the number 10 a packet, I bought a couple of packets of the trick, Atomic Trick Bits Assist Hooks. Um, we'll see how they go. I'm not 100% not convinced, but that's not to say that in the next few sessions I, I, I won't nail some good ones. Um, and then the, the number four um, long shank hooks for when I'm using yabbies. And I'll put um, a few close up pictures of lures at the end of the video. Um, but guys, if you, if you like the top water whiting uh, fishing for the surface lures, but you're having difficulty, it's getting frustrating as it was for me. It took me quite a few months before it all clicked together to walk the dog retrieve and and and, and, and getting the, the, the retrieving and the twitching at the same time. I, for a while I couldn't get it but then just all of a sudden after a few months it clicked and then I started getting success um, as I sort of mentioned in one of my earlier videos um, and it's great fun now. Really enjoying the, the, the whiting on top water when they smash it even when you get the odd flatty that just smashes it off the surface, it's great. I've got a couple of new spots I want to try, so hopefully I might be able to um, get a couple more of the, the bigger flathead on surface. But 
if you're out there, you're struggling a little bit, don't give up. Keep going. Keep getting out there. Keep casting. Keep practicing. Keep doing the twitch and the retrieve, and it and it'll all come together. Um, you'll have a great time. You'll have great fun. You'll get the adrenaline, and you'll want to go out there more and more. If it's a slightly windy afternoon and you've timed the, the tides right, you could possibly get out there and get some good wind-assisted casting to cover a larger area. Um, but it's all about having fun and don't give up. Um, so that being said, guys, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully uh, next episode or two I'll be out walking the flats again or in the boat. Um, seeing what we can drum up, and having fun. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys, and, and all stay safe and, and be good. Okay, bye for now. See ya.